morning. <clears throat> Let's see what daily profits. And today is March 13th. And as you can see this morning, we have a continuation of what was taking place yesterday on the bank stocks. So FRC, as you can see, it a pretty big move uh, from <clears throat> from yesterday. So basically, just looking at the five minutes, roll in. So this was the high of yesterday. It was around like forty one. This is high. High was forty thirty eight. Forty thirty. Oh, high was forty two. Wait, what was that? And then this morning pull back and then right around at seven o'clock as you can see it push above the 38 level and above the nine and the 21 moving average and just went skyrocketed I saw I can I opened my computer <clears throat> when I, I saw it around this level consolidating so I press a buy button and only I only was able to get a thousand shares and I was selling as it was moving higher. So found seven hundred dollars uh, on the first trade. And as you can see it pushed up higher. Now it's pulling back towards the 21 moving average. We find support and we should see what it wants to do. Uh, bank stocks are you know going back up in regards to the heavy sell-off um, when SVB news came out. So it's really good to take advantage of. Um, everything's gonna be on the buy side for me. I'm looking for everything to push up today. Um, so keep an eye on FRC. Um, wall, the same thing with wall. Um, it didn't move as significantly as SR, FRC did, but it's still moving so basically these stocks follow one another frc and then you have eacw also that is trading so it didn't move significantly seven o'clock hit it did push up but you see, still that's still a pre-market high of thirteen ninety-one, still holding. So we want to see what it wants to do. But other than that, these are my top three on the list today, and I also have Tesla. Been really decent pre-market. <clears throat> As you can see, it pushed up yesterday, and then now it's basically right near it's near its highs pre-market highs and if it can you know if the market open and it break above 177 you can definitely see 179 today around the 180s so that's very very interesting yeah 179 is a pivot level right here here from here from this area here and then if you break above 179 so you're looking at the 180s moving forward so we want to see what these stocks wants to do but now waiting on the sideline to see if our is going to give us any more action as you can see it's pulling back right now so let it pull back consolidate and hopefully we get another big move to the up.